What's up, y'all? <laughs> this is Kevin <laughs> from Kevin's Corner. <laughs> I'm sorry. Most of the time, I try to be tough and <laughs> present myself properly in front of y'all. <laughs> Welcome to Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. <laughs> and <laughs> I've been up all night crying <laughs> because I've been I've been trying to make sense out of something I just I can't make sense out of <laughs> I'm sorry I woke up and I saw Joe Biden doing an interview and I learned y'all after Joe said these powerful words that I ain't black I'm sorry. Give me a minute. All this time, I've been walking around thinking I'm black. I got two black parents, and I was thinking that if your mom and your dad is black, then that would make you black. But I guess I was wrong. I said to myself, I got to be black. I mean, I got rhythm. I be busting rhymes. We have picnics. I fry most of my food. I love dominoes and I know how to play spades. And all that stuff. I even walk with a little bit of bounce. But then. To hear those words. And they hit me hit with that reality that all this time I'm walking around. Saying okay. My stalky body and all that stuff and my athleticism and you know I'm thinking I got to be black and then I found out that I must be a white man I guess trapped in a in a black man's body and I you know what I fought against all those people out there that were saying I can just be whatever I want and you know and I can identify with something else. You know there's a lot of people out there. They they wake up and they say, you know what? All this time I felt like I was a whole different person. I used to laugh at them, but I guess now after hearing Joe, but then it's possible. Okay, give me a second. And scene. Yeah. Anyway, I need to talk about this. First of all, these are not real tears. Just letting you know, I ain't got tear ducts. Man like me don't cry. You understand that? It's eye drops. If you don't believe me, here's the proof. Now, getting to this. Joe, but then done gave Donald Trump a gift. He is the gift that keeps on giving. He's the gaffes to keep on giving. This man gets up there and says the worst thing you can say if you're trying to keep the black Americans vote. Let's listen to it. Here we go. Vice President Joe Biden continuing his virtual campaigning during the pandemic, including a new radio interview with the popular uh, program, The Breakfast Club, okay. that at times became very heated. It happened this morning. Here is one exchange where the vice pre the former vice president says that if African-American voters still have questions uh -huh. about who they should vote for, right. they're not really black. Listen, <gasps> that's offensive. Well, we don't Thank you so much. That's really our time. I apologize. You can't do that to the black media. You I can't do that to white media and black media because my wife yeah. has to go on at six o'clock. Okay. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black, it don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. I would love to see Take you. Take a look at my record, man. I extended the voting racks 25 years. Well. Juan Williams is a Fox News political analyst. Now, and of the five. did y'all hear that? First things first, I don't even know where to begin with this one. Now, this man, first of all, unlike Trump, Trump, when he deals with black people, I believe it's sincere. I've been to the White House. I don't think he invited us all to the White House just so he could take a photo op because nobody even covered it. Only a uh, person talked about it. I think it was a snippet on the Laura Ingram show. He doesn't parade it around. He doesn't sit back and say, you know what? To show 
all of those people out there that I'm not just racist, white nationalist. I'm going to go around and pander to the black community, go on all the different black talk shows like Hillary Clinton and all the rest of the Democrats. You know, they, they go on a little black tour. Um, I don't have to do all those things. I don't have to parade all of my dealings with the black community out to say, look, you know, I'm not, I'm not racist. I got lots. Look, look, there's a picture of me with the black person right there. See, and this right here is what pandering looks like. When you single out black organizations, radio stations, all of that, you fall into that category of that person that says, hey, I'm not racist. I got uh, lots of black friends. Look, there, here's one right here. You can tell that Joe Biden uh, doesn't really know how to deal with the black community. He assumes that he does. Listen to what he said. If you don't know who you're going to vote for by now, then you ain't black. Now, first of all, only black people could say that to other black people. Man, you ain't black, jokingly. But this man says it as if he was black. He done picked up the dialect that you ain't black. Now, what did he just do? He offended the 1.8 million black people who voted for Donald Trump. Secondly, he patronized all the people that might have voted for him. What he just did, and I hope black people pick up on this. Notice what he did. He said, what's really in the heart of all the Democrats. That's all he did. I don't see why people even shocked about this. He's so old and see now that he's just being too real. He's saying exactly what the Democratic Party feel. That you guys must and should and will vote for us without question. He didn't even address this guy's concern. The guy said, look, man, it, it, it ain't even about Trump. I mean, you know... I want to see what you're going to do for our community. Joe Biden did what all the Democrats do to black people. I don't need to tell you about my policies, okay? The only thing you need to know is as a black person, you need to vote for me, for the Democrats, because if you don't, you ain't black. He didn't rip off a policy. He ain't rip off a plan. He even went and backdated some garbage that he said, oh, look, at me. look, man, look at my record. Look what I've done. I mean, I extended the voter act for another 50 years. And I'm going, okay, your record compared to Trump's. So you locked black people up. You supported bills to lock them up. That's what you did. Okay. All right. Yeah, see. Um, now, Trump lowers black unemployment, got prison reform passed, sponsored all these black colleges, got their money funded, all of that. What is Joe done? Uh, look, man, uh, look at my record. I, I walked with Martin Luther King, I think. I don't quite remember, but it sounds good. Sounds like something I would have done. Uh, and look, I mean, I, I was arrested for for Nelson, Nelson, um, what is that guy's last name? Nelson Munns off the Simpsons? No, Nelson, no, oh, Nelson Mandela. That's what I did. So this guy right here just insulted all black people. Those that maybe don't know it yet, this is the mind frame that we've been telling y'all about. The Democrats just assume we got their vote. Why do I need to come to New York and give you all types of information about what I'm going to do for y'all? Just trust me. Look at the stuff I did in the past, even though it ain't nothing to really brag about. I just threw some garbage out there. But look at that. And the fact that I was the, the vice president of the first black president, man. Look, what else you want from me? All right. If you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Y'all get that? See? Now, unfortunately, that was a Freudian slip, trying to be hip, trying to relate to the black community. Oh, watch me drop this one on him and dropped it on him and made a fool of himself. And hopefully every black person that was listening and that's hearing this, I should have said, what did he just say? I can't even believe it. The assumption that we don't have a brain of our own. We're programmed. We're preconditioned to vote for Democrats. And if we don't, we ain't black. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So us 1.8 million blacks who thought they were black, but found out that they, we ain't black. Well, I'm okay with that. Because if being black means I got to be a big fat lemming and a sheep 
that follow the funky, corrupt, dirty, stinking, nasty, poop-stained, dumpster juice tinge of vomit with a little bit of pee smell in it, all of that, if being black mean I got to vote for them and follow them, Joe Biden with all that corruption hanging off of him and none of his policies and his mind is somewhere else, shoot, Joe is in the basement and his mind is somewhere else. He don't even know it. He, I lost it. That's what he did. I lost my mind about eight years ago. So the bottom line, if that's what it means to be black, then I guess I ain't black. But I know I am. So anyway, there it is, y'all. Thank you, Joe Biden. I appreciate that. Now, least black people can go in and vote for you, knowing exactly how you feel about them. Now, if y'all do that, then you're the biggest fool. You know, you, you basically, I can't even help you. You're, the man basically said it. Look, you vote for me or else you ain't black. Now, I don't need to tell y'all nothing else. Don't ask me what I'm going to do for y'all. Vote for me or you ain't black. There you go. You vote for him, then you ain't black. Anyway, God bless y'all. Um, don't forget, check me out every Wednesday night. 7.30 live in Kevin's Corner um, on Facebook, YouTube, and my radio blog talk show. Check out Extreme Tees. Unfortunately, I, I stopped what I was doing to shoot this video, and I ain't got their paraphernalia, y'all. I'm sorry. But check it out. The link's below this video. And if you like something, put Kevin in a promo code, and you'll get a 20% discount. And don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Um, please check. Make sure you're still notified. Uh, your notifications are set to all and that you're still subscribed. People have been saying they've been unsubscribed. That's not cool. And if you want to donate to Kevin at Kevin's Corner, feel free. There's a link below to do that. And before I go, let me get back in character. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh, okay. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, all right. So anyway, y'all, thanks for chilling with me for a minute. Now I'm going to go out and try to... I'm going to go out and try to find my blackness Cause it's somewhere out there. Uh, this is so tough to swallow. So, I gotta go. I want y'all to see me like this. God bless.